to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The proof of favor is not money. You don't need favor to have money. You just need to be diligent and to provide value, turn it into products and services that are needed and useful. But the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. When men love you and can come to stand with you, because it is in the multitude of men, not treasure, is the king's honor. When men stand with you to represent the purposes of God, it is proof that the favor of God is on you. Are we ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from today, henceforth, the grace that makes for favor, let it come upon my life, my children, my husband, my wife, my family. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. Shanas kabaranda shalakatos. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. Hallelujah. 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 The last prayer point, and we're done. Ten is not just the perfection of men, but it also ends cycles and begins new cycles. Are we together? The number ten is prophetic and symbolic, not only because it explains the perfection of men but that it can begin seasons the number 10 is a door in the spirit it closes seasons and opens others are we together please understand what i share with you and we are going to pray because in the last 10 years for many of us it's not everything god said that happened so we are going to take them forward and force them to happen with speed the secret that restores lost years is speed. Speed is a possibility in the kingdom. When the devil wants to waste your destiny, he does not waste resources. He eats years. Time. Time. When you lose time, you've lost everything. So we're going to pray. By the mystery of speed, restore me restore me for the times i have cried restore me for the years are we together you would have built the house but because someone brought a court case and wasted three years out of your productive life i like you to lift your voice and declare by speed by the mystery of speed in the name of jesus let there be restoration of every lost year every lost moment someone is praying Your child would have been in the university, but he's still in SS1 because something happened to him, an infirmity at three years of his life. Someone prophesy restoration. I came to Abuja 10 years ago. I came to my city 10 years ago. I would have been 10 times better, except that the devourer did not allow the purposes of God to manifest. But I place a demand. I start pride. 
here at when women pray the 10th year anniversary i place a demand restore restore time oh god restore passion restore fortunes restore Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Please read with me. One, two, read. So the elders of the Jews built and they prospered through the prophesying they did not prosper just through architecture even though they were building the real secret behind their prosperity was not the dexterity of their engineering behind the scene there were voices speaking the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo read on and they built and finished it according to what the command so God spoke it there were brides that came as prophets to echo it and the bible says the building was built and it finished i know that the prophetic sadly and unfortunately has been you know has become something else in our world people have made nonsense out of it and it has brought a lot of devaluation to the power and the mystery that is enshrined in the prophetic just because there are abuses and malhandlings here and there, please do not despise prophesyings. Your life can step into a dimension overnight because the voice sent, not the voice available. The voice sent. Not every voice will bless you. They don't have to be bad. There were many widows in Zarephath, the Bible says, but to none was Elijah sent. That means he passed other widows on his way to Zarephath and just greeted them because he was not sent to them. We do not speak as men in our own strength. We have established the fact that we do not have the power to change anything. But this is an election of grace. And there is a throne that backs this office. And that in honor to that grace, that throne can move over your life and change things overnight. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray by my God and the one who has helped me every door that stands close towards you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I speak to that door Ephata, be open be open in the name of Jesus please help a lady who will shout right now I just heard in the realm of a loud shout it's like the power of God just came on that lady and I'm seeing her step into a ladder no 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 i don't mean i don't mean a shout like this this is the part i know there's this social distancing and i respect it but this is what i just had like a loud the power of god just coming on a lady and this is what i heard in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus you step into new levels in the spirit that's what god is doing in the life of that lady by the supernatural power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus i'm seeing chains on the hands of people this is what the lord is showing me the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore i stand in the name of jesus chains i speak to you i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i declare chains be broken now chains be broken now chains be broken now hallelujah listen the bible talks about saul the son of kish he lost his donkey and for three days they were going around had they not met samuel they will write a theory that restoration does not happen except that they met this strange being whose word does not fall to the ground and he said leave the issue of donkey go up and i will tell you what is in your heart is it not because the lord has anointed you to be king over israel and he said now that you have received this three things will happen to you that's what i want to pray for you on number one the donkey you have been looking for 
the moment you met me by itself it started going back home let me speak to you i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west by the god of heaven everything that left you provided is still on this earth i command it like the prodigal son to find his way back to your life you lost money in a business i command resources find their way back to your life please believe it believe it in the name of jesus opportunities lost i call you by the spirit of prophecy in the name of jesus help that lady please in the name of jesus who can stand against the lord no one can no one will who can stand against our king no one can hold on madam are you pregnant I'm seeing you and the Lord is bringing I don't know you from anywhere are you is that woman pregnant can I talk to her for one minute is that all right come is your husband here husband come sir you will never forget this 10th anniversary for the rest of your life please stand up stand up madam please stand up sir I don't know you but I want to pray for you Don't worry i'm seeing you people listen to my message in the morning listening to it again and again this is what god is showing me i want to pray because i'm seeing a complication on this pregnancy but in the name of jesus two of you the power of god is coming upon you i shift you to a new level in the mighty name of jesus step into new dimensions i place favor on your destiny and i move you into superior dimensions in the spirit by the power that is in the name of jesus please help her and we declare there will be no complication we cause the hand of evil you will give birth safely like the hebrew women in the name of jesus christ number two he said as you return you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you say favor i declare upon your life as you leave this place tonight carrying this mark of grace upon this ministry let everyone who sees you who is needed in your destiny for this season i compel an encounter i compel a connection in the name of jesus whoever is holding your job whoever is holding your resources whoever is holding what god said should come to you whoever is holding properties whoever is holding help them please help that lady in the name of jesus i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind i decree and declare a supernatural connection number three and we'll wrap up you will come to a garrison of the philistines he said whereas you left as a confused person with no discernment having that encounter with god it says it shall come to pass that the spirit of god will come upon you then you will begin to prophesy that means there are things you did not come with today that you are going back with when i came I, something was happening to my dream life no dreams no visions no encounters but just when i came for this conference i returned back with a referring in my spirit man that in one night my whole night was spent as a revelation of the next level of my life i released dreams i released visions supernatural encounters in the name of jesus hear me many of you will go to bed tonight and God will come and open the mysteries of your destiny. Anyone here who is trusting God for healing, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, um, I know I, I'm sorry for taking a few minutes, but I want to pray. Please don't feel embarrassed. 
the Lord is showing me a lady here you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb I'm, I'm, in fact I'm seeing a number of people listen please I want to don't, don't just call, I'm not an idol I'm a human being but there is a mysterious grace that backs the things that we do that you are trusting God to stand here on this altar and testify please come and stand here please still respect the social distancing just, just so that we don't uh, have any problem with the government there is a strong anointing in this place ah. you've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything day Oh, may my It's a song of victory Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah. hallelujah my dear madam look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can you out of her now I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus I release your womb Ephata, be open I pray for you we may not have the time but I want to minister to you please listen to me I'm standing in partnership with the faith of the woman of God in this ministry and let me tell you the Bible says surely there is an end an angel is pouring oil on you madam this woman I'm seeing oil coming on you in the name of Jesus please lay, lay your hand on your womb I want to pray for you father in this 10th anniversary you are opening doors and gates in the spirit and I stand oh God as a privileged custodian something is happening I declare right now by the spirit of grace whatever is responsible for the closing of your womb hear the word of the Lord I speak in the name of Jesus I declare womb be open now and I prophesy to you according to the time of life return with your children male and female according to the time of life return with your children male and female every legal access upon which the devil is bringing this plague i stand by the mystery of the blood and i declare the advocacy of the blood that blood of the eternal covenant speaking better things than the blood of abel i declare that it vetoes every ordinance every handwriting that speaks against you i release you to the realm of fruitfulness in the name of jesus i change every medical report and i declare return with your miracle children In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. We have to wrap up. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want to pray. I've been, I've been given a few minutes. Thank God for the graciousness and the love of your pastor. She's given me a few minutes to just pray for the sick. I believe in the miracle ministry. I am a testimony of it. It's not what I preach. Is what I experienced. I've been at the valley of the shadow of death. I know what it means to experience the power of God. And I just have two or three minutes. I want to pray. 
you are sick in your body we may not have i'm not sure we'll have the time to have them come out maybe well if, if a few come out and once here is exhausted then you stand where you are and just lay your hand lay your hand on um okay i think it's ushers please help me you can some people may have to stop somewhere so that we don't have here um we don't have here rowdy don't worry wherever you are it really doesn't matter wherever you are um the the, the it's just for convenience that's it it's, it doesn't really make any difference i believe in the power of the holy spirit to heal i really believe in real provable miracles this is a notable miracle they said not one that is left for argument whether it happened or not that that is nonsense a real miracle is a real miracle provable by science provable by everything and we want to pray ah i'm seeing something that looks like a worm and i'm seeing written on it cancer in the name of jesus i don't know who or what family but any plague that is looking for your body he said a body has thou prepared the body didn't just arrive it was prepared nobody prepares food and finishes cooking and then the whole food is spoiled uh -uh. a body has thou prepared you took time and intelligence to prepare that body let me pray for the sick now who is jane 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 this i'm hearing a name jane no the jane i'm seeing is plump a bit you're a bit plumpy this is is there somebody like that who is that you're, i mentioned you yesterday you were not around yesterday you see how god are you a staff in this ministry or something like that because i'm seeing something that has to do with pastor i want to pray for you just stand up please stand up victoria who is victoria 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 uh -uh. victoria victoria don't worry i'll pray for you who is from benway state no no i don't mean where you are coming among the victorias is there someone like that because i'm seeing god is doing him. the victor the person is not here oh you are from benway i know what god is showing me who is that come please let's hurry up so we don't waste our time is there someone like that here don't be afraid eh? i'm not a false prophet not everybody not everybody is wasting your time there are people who have gone through the cave of adulam they have been thoroughly trained by god please don't generalize rubbish there are people who have paid a price with god sincerely you understand what i'm saying so don't just generalize and make it look like anybody ministering is just speaking nonsense no before you believe a man find out about him you go and study about him there is an antecedent to everything god does with people praise the lord i want to pray for you my dear in the name of jesus christ look at me i'm looking at you but in the realm of the spirit i'm not seeing hair i'm seeing a complete a woman like a man shaves and you know the hair of a woman is her glory i need to pray for you in the name of jesus i restore now by the power of the holy spirit everything that has been taken over your destiny this is ah. you are from benway don't be embarrassed i'm seeing on your head something written a l e k u aleku in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit that everything that is an enchantment look at what is happening to her i cut it off from your life now in the name of jesus the christ of god agnes 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 i'm hearing a name agnes Agnes let me just pray for the sick we have to hurry up Agnes where are you are you married where is your husband I'm not a prophet of doom but I rebuke obituary 
you will not be a widow you, you, you understand what i'm saying i hope you are not embarrassed i'm not saying please understand what i'm saying i'm just acting as god is showing me this someone the power of god is going to come on someone now this is the plague of death breaking no look at look at what is happening are you saying you would have had obituary from that whole family look at this look at this these are the people assigned and appointed unto death did the bible not say to deliver them that are bound this is your bible that you read every time in the name of jesus anyone appointed to death i come by the spirit of prophecy and i declare death passes over your life the seal of the blood is upon you death passes over your life Now, for all of you who are trusting God for a miracle, please, whether you are here or you are standing for someone, just lay your hand as a point of contact. Be sure to bring your testimonies and let Pastor Opie know what God has done in this 10th anniversary. But in the name of Jesus, I declare right now over your life, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, every devil responsible for infirmity, I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. My dear, this lady, what's wrong with you? Yes, I need to. I see. Okay. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit. It's not migraine I'm seeing, no. In the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing something like a knife at your back. Just stuck there and left there. This is what I saw. You are who you are yesterday, today, and forever. Hold on, my dear. There's no social distancing. I, I mean, there's social distancing. I can't touch you, but I want to pray for you. Look at this precious lady crying. Let me tell you this if you've never been in pain, you may not know the value of a miracle. Are we together now? I thank God archbishops talked about women having the ability to endure pain. Do you know once upon a time in my life I was diagnosed with a condition that troubled me, tortured me. There was nothing I could not do. Or there was nothing I did to, to just get healing that didn't work. It was a miracle. I'm a testament of a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. We represent a government that is superior. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this plague of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. I declare in the name of Jesus, something is coming out of your back, my dear. In the name of Jesus, be healed supernaturally by the power of the Holy Spirit. I curse that devil. Let there be restoration to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pray a general prayer so I leave, but the Spirit is compelling me. Your husband's name is Adams. Is it Adams also? Your husband's name, he bears a name, Adams. I don't know whether you're here online, but I'm hearing this. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the, the plague of delay over that man's life comes to an end now. I speak to everyone who is sick in body, be healed right now. Be healed right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. I pray for your spiritual life. Whatever has eaten away your prayer life, whatever has destroyed your passion for God, whatever has destroyed your love for the things of the spirit, I command restoration now. In the name of Jesus. Please, God bless you. You can go back to your seat while I speak to everybody. In the name of Jesus. By the time this conference comes to an end, may there be a strange manifestation in your life. Praise the Lord. I've received a request by your pastor to pray for all those desiring marital settlement. You don't have to come out. 
where you are just lift your hand it's not enough to marry in this wicked world you don't need the kind of marriage that will make you admire your singleness you need to marry well and marry happily hallelujah the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter let me tell you this by the grace of god i've read many books about marriage by the grace of god i've had the privilege of meeting with people who are experts in this subject and they have communicated many things i think it was early this year a lady sent me a text and said since we don't go around looking for husbands what is the real key to bringing my husband i told her i said favor and divine connection no matter how virtuous you are you can't ask yourself out you can't marry yourself out and you can't go around saying i'm ready it will take what happened to rebecca to happen to you it will take what happened to esther to happen to you the bible is named after two women and it has to do with marriage ruth and esther and the bible is careful to show us where they started from and how eventually they got married to noblemen and in both cases it was the connection of the spirit and favor i believe in favor in the name of jesus the bible says male and female he created them i pray for everyone here if you need to work on yourself to be a virtuous woman grace for you first to work on yourself in the name of jesus christ but then i pray for you by the spirit of god some of you it looks like it's too late but i pray you will not see december 25th single hear me any man who is in your life now wasting your time and you don't know the name of what you are doing i break that relationship from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus and I introduce you to a noble man born again filled with the Holy Spirit serious and committed in the name of Jesus and if there are families here with covenants and yokes that prevent fruitful marriage I stand in partnership with the grace that is upon Pastor Opie and every servant of God here and we declare that those foundations are crushed right now there is a foundation called the foundation of the Lord. He says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standed sure. I declare that you stand upon that foundation. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracle marriages in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. And even though pastor did not request it, we live in times now that are quite hard. And people have gone through a lot of financial situation. I have to pray I know you are a giving ministry you love giving but I want to really speak you only it is such as you have that you give so the first assignment is to really have that you give are we together there are many people who have the hearts to give but you will need that grace now the challenge that has happened in the body of Christ is that people have been have received a theology that advocates laziness and people don't do anything just waiting for prophecy prophecy is only useful when other aspects of the kingdom system are kept like diligence like productivity are we together prophecy is barren when it stands alone the validity of prophecy comes only when we play our own part when we are diligent we turn our value to products and services that are needed and useful then the prophetic can become an advantage but make no mistakes about it there is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the lord brought the nation of israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved this is the advantage we have as those who are in this kingdom therefore in the name of jesus i decree and declare over the works of your hands and over your financial situation in the name of jesus the one who lifts the one who honors the one who prospers the one who can compel men to bless men in jesus name may the lord set you at a new level financially some of you will need supernatural ideas that will come upon your mind some of you will need connections that will give you fruitful jobs some of you will need strategic relationships that connect you to your place of breakthrough some of you need the 
God to just ward off spirits that make that waste your resources some of you need to be connected to people who have intelligence enough to help you secure your resources and some of you need a direct miracle isn't it amazing that there are times God sends ideas but there are times we need bread directly we don't need our farm to prosper there are times we just need bread directly from heaven and God shows us in scripture he can do both he can prosper your farm but there are times that he can send manna from heaven because of the urgency of the need he is that benevolent i declare both seed and bread let it come to you by the power of the holy spirit the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible declares that you are bound to every good work the sufficiency that will make you abound to every good work let it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Opie, thank you so much and your dear husband. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.